Daniel Dennett is my man, professor at Tufts University and author of Consciousness Explained. Explained? Can Dan defend his ambitious claim? I go to Cambridge, Massachusetts to find out. Dan, I, like you, have been fascinated with consciousness my whole life. It seems like it's a window on some bigger reality beyond us. You've talked about consciousness as something that we feel that's really more marvelous than it really is. Why is that? Yes, I think that consciousness plays tricks on us. Uh, It seems to us as if here we are inside, somewhere behind the eyes and in between the ears, and uh, the inner witness is watching this wonderful show, and it's it's all in color, and it's complete in some wonderful sense. But then when you do the, the, the physiology and you study perception, you realize that, no, in fact, you have a very limited take. You're only taking sips from that fire hose of information that's coming in, a little bit from vision, a little bit from, from hearing. And there's, in fact, this this competition going on, tug of war between different senses, between different interpretations of what you're seeing, and all of this competition resolves itself in the fullness of time and pretty darn quick uh, to produce the the behavior that we're capable of and the reflection that we're capable of. It seems, though, as if there's it all comes together at some place for for enjoyment in the middle. And that's just an illusion. There's no place in the brain where it all comes together for enjoyment and for, and for witnessing by an inner witness. So we have to take all that work that that inner witness was going to do, and we have to break it up in little bits and distribute it around in the brain in the time and space that's available. And no one of those little bits is going to be conscious. And yet the sum of all of that work that the inner witness was going to do, that's what consciousness well, we is. We have this, this illusion of, of, of unity, a, a binding, that every, everything yep. flows together. We have that illusion, and it is an illusion, because in fact, there's lots of things going on at once. They're not all that coherent. And so our brains are very good at creating the sorts of simplifications that make, that make its own job <laughs> easier. And uh, so, yes, consciousness is an illusion of the brain for the brain, by the brain, if you like. And if that seems to be self-contradictory, then reconsider, because it doesn't have to be.